martial artist, a photographer, and a dad. Us. Okay, before I start my short vlog today, I just want to say thank you to each and every one, subscribers. It's getting there, slowly, going up. Thank you for each and every one. I just want to say thank you to each and every one who always supported my blog, my channel, my Facebook page. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, I would love to show you some uh, uh, photography things that I wanted to do uh, due to physical activities. <clears throat> it's not really that easy at the moment. So for now, I'll try my best to help you learn and enjoy at the same time my blog. This is a three-part series. Today, we're going to start with the model shoot, the camera clubs I've been with, the association I've been with, and part of it, and uh, what I've been doing with them. When there's a model photo shoot, <coughs> a group gathering, would mention number one is the Zoom Photo Club 02, which I co-founded in 2002. Um, <coughs> We started in 2002 until 2004 before I left came here to the United Kingdom <coughs> uh, in 97 to 2004 I was also part of the association of FTPF due to membership with Dying Camera Club and lastly I became part of the Parkwood uh, Photo Club which is based in Raynham Parkwood I'm very thankful for all of them because I had a chance to participate indoor and outdoor photo shoots. Back home, we have to use flashes. Flash them because it was too expensive. We only made our DIY reflectors to survive in a model shoot. Uh, here in Raynham, in Parkwood, uh, we had the benefit being part of the membership of Parkwood. We had a chance to just uh, play with the gadgets, the equipments they have, the lighting they have. See on my background right now, this is my small basement studio. Maybe in the coming ones when I'm physically fit and ready to do some photo shoot, I might do a model shoot, uh, full photography, something like that. But this is a, like I said, this is a three, three part series. Today we're gonna uh, talk about model shoot and the next part two would be portrait and headshots the, the differentiation of each and every one of it and the last part is artistic mood photography uh, I will show you some of the lightings that I use outside of the studio and inside the, my small studio basement here uh, normally I have two lights like I learned from other camera clubs that I've been with, normally with two lights. One light, it depends on the situation. I have a parabolic umbrella, which I normally use outdoors, especially in outdoor photo shoots, or sometimes soapbox, like on my back right now. And also, um, the cheap gadgets I buy from eBay, third-party wireless trigger that could go to my Nikon cameras or a universal trigger. Like I said from the very beginning, I'm not sponsored by Nikon nor sponsored by Amazon or eBay <coughs> with regards to my items that I buy. But same as that, these are the things that is cheaper but still produces good, good great quality I might say. There's uh, also, I will show you most of my wireless trigger on phase 2. It is the portrait, uh, portrait and headshot photography. Then, then and phase three would be uh, artistic nude. So hopefully everybody will enjoy it. And ho hopefully at the same time people will also appreciate and learn from it. Like I said, this is just a part of my normal life before all this COVID happened. Uh, basically, I have a small camera club that we all decided to produce or co-founded here in Gillingham, the Gillingham Pinoy Camera Club or Gillingham Pinoy, Pinoy Camera Club so there's also photo shoots and group shots that we were doing uh, we had 
we were fortunate when we did the other photo shoots. We have our members who are also doing the makeup of our models at the same time. So, hope everybody enjoys it. Hopefully, everybody will appreciate how different fields of photography is a great thing about it. It's, there's so much to learn, so much things to do. Even, even you're in a lockdown. Only thing is, I right now, like I said, uh, I'm not physically fit enough to do everything at the moment. So, hopefully, you'll enjoy this. Once again, I would like to thank each and everyone, <coughs> the Rosa family, Velasco family, Mejia family, Winio family, uh, Lorenzo family, all my friends, the Filipino, Gillingham community that never stopped helping us from the very beginning until now. Uh, NHS, I'm very proud to be part of the NHS. Like I said, everyone, my wife, my two daughters, Abby and Audrey, will soon be part of my blog again. <coughs> and hopefully, more blogs to come uh, while I'm off for my work and focus most likely on my photography again. And hopefully, interviews from other martial artists even just for online. Again, this is Caesar, uh, martial artist, photographer, and a dad. Peace.